Thank you, Ricardo, for that overview of the STM32 strategy. Now, welcome to Kroll, France, where some of our STM32 are manufactured. ST is an integrated device manufacturer, or IDM, with 14 main manufacturing sites across the globe. We design and produce products for our customers, providing them with a service and the quality they need. As an IDM, we are continuously investing in our technologies and manufacturing footprint, and our manufacturing activity is core to who we are and what we do. Being an IDM is very important for the support of customers in challenging times. And the situation of the microcontroller market recently is a good example. It is clear that the demand for microcontroller has been and will be growing faster than the economy in general. This is linked to the massive shift to digitalization, both for business to business and consumer industrial application. It means there are microcontrollers in applications where there were none before, as well as an increasing number of microcontrollers per application. We are convinced that this increasing demand will continue for many years, in particular to support the decarbonization of the economy with more power efficient solutions and new energy sources where microcontrollers play a key role. The past two years have been tough for all of us with shortages, allocations and extended lead times, compounded by long manufacturing equipment lead times. We have worked with you to mitigate the shortages, proposing alternative products and solutions. The road has not been smooth, but we overcame many challenges together and we are encouraged by your positive feedback. We hope that you feel ST did all we could to support you. So thank you for your continued trust. At ST, to sustain this long-term increasing demand for all the products, the investment done involved a significant expansion of our 300 mm wafer manufacturing to increase capacity between 2022 and 2025. And this already represented a significant portion of our 3.5 billion US dollars in capital expenditures in 2022. The same strategy will be at work in 2023, with capital expenditures expected to be around 4 billion US dollars, with a significant portion for the 300 mm expansion. We continue our capacity expansion at our Kroll Fab here in France, and we also announced an agreement for an additional 300 mm manufacturing facility on the site. In Agrate, Italy, we are now ramping the new 300 mm fab. So, what does this mean for STM32 microcontrollers and microprocessors? You may have seen the first signs of the capacity increase where ST and its foundry partners started implementing in the second half of last year. Of course, the situation varies depending on the technology. I spoke earlier about ST's internal capacity increase plan, backed up by significant investments. For external foundry capacity, we have also invested significantly to secure firm commitments from our foundry partners to increase the 90 nanometer and the 40 nanometer node process technology capacity available to us. These process technologies are used for the vast majority of the most recent products in the STM32 family. This means that, looking forward, front-end capacity will increase significantly between now and 2025. We will also increase global wafer sort and back-end capacity in line with this plan. These investments will serve all of the STM32 family of products. Ultra low power, mainstream, high performance, wireless MCU, as well as our MPUs. This will allow us to serve the continuous increase in demand 
we see over the long term. All of this is being done to offer the supply chain resilience you will need in the coming decade, with both ST internal capacity and the support of our network of partners. Thank you again for your trust. And now let's get started with one of the many exciting announcements we have for you today. How your next 8-bit MCU can be a 32-bit one. Over to you, Takeshi in Tokyo.